Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you the best 10 practical examples of async command in Linux. It is not only efficiently copies files and directories, but also synchronize them in various scenarios. Whether you are looking to backup your data or mirroring directories or maintaining the backup on your remote server, everything can be done through this rsync. So these 10 practical commands provide you with a solid foundation for managing your data. Document related to this video or mentioned in the description, you can make use of it. Before getting to the topic, just a small request to those who are watching this video from our YouTube channel for the first time. We have already uploaded a lot of videos and tutorial series on Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes and other technologies too. Please have a look. If you are interested in learning, then do subscribe now and click near the bell icon for more interesting and useful videos. Let's get started. Number 1. Basic Local Directory Synchronization so, when you are starting with async command, the simplest thing you can do is syncing your data in one folder with another on the same system. Here is the syntax for async command. Async, space, then options, then source, then finally the destination. In this example, here we use the option called hyphen A V. The A stands for archive mode and V stands for Verbus. This command efficiently copies and synchronizes the content of the source directory with the destination directory. Number 2. Synchronize with the remote server over SSH. One of the standard features of Async is its ability to synchronize data between local and remote systems securely. So using SSH for secure communication, you can sync a local directory with a remote directory on a different remote server. Here you can use the option called hyphen E to specify the SSH option even if you have specified your username at the right remote server IP or host name then the hyphen E and SSH option is optional. Number 3 dry run mode. Before making actual changes it is often a good practice to perform a dry run or preview of the synchronization to see what changes would be made. This is helpful in avoiding unexpected results. Here we will be using the option called dry run. Number 4. Synchronize and delete extra files on the destination. There will be a scenario you may want to ensure that the destination directory exactly mirrors the source including removing any extra files not present in the source, then you can use the option called delete. Number 5. Exclude file and directories. There may be a situation where you need to exclude specific files or directories from the synchronization process. So you can achieve this using the option called exclude. So this exclude option allows you to specify files or directories that should be skipped during synchronization. Number 6. Show progress and transfer speed. If you want to keep an eye on the progress of your synchronization as well as the transfer speed, you can use the option called progress. This command provides you with the real-time updates on the progress of your async operation and the speed at which data is being transferred. Number 7. Preserve file permission and ownership. When you are dealing with important system files or any scenario where file permission and ownership has to be changed, then the right option would be hyphen hyphen change owner. With this command, you can ensure that the file permission and ownership are retained in the destination directory. Number 8. Use rsync daemon for remote sync. So here is a cool feature with rsync. It can work in daemon mode. This lets you sync data from a distance through a specific port as it is working as a daemon mode, making it super handy for all your remote syncing needs. So in this example, we use rsync's daemon mode to synchronize data with the remote server over port number 6262 or 8873. Number 9. 
backup rotation with hard links. So creating backups with rsync can be optimized for efficiency and storage space. By using hard links options, you can create incremental backups by preserving disk space. This command creates a new backup while linking to the previous one, saving space by only copying changes. Number 10. Exclude multiple patterns from sync. So when you need to exclude multiple files or patterns from synchronization, you can utilize an exclude file that lists the actual items to be excluded. So this approach allows you to maintain a list of excluded files and patterns for easy management. So that's it for this video. Hope you have got an idea about the 10 practical examples of rsync command in Linux. See you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing and have fun.